<laughs> Hello milkshakers, I'm Kemi. Why don't you sit yourselves down and get yourselves nice and comfy as I read this book by Jessie Hodgson. It's called Pip and the Bamboo Path. High up in the Himalayan mountains lived a little red panda and her mother. Here the trees grew tall and the roots deep. But the tall trees were soon torn down and their deep roots torn up. It's far too dangerous to stay here longer, warned Pip's mother. But where will we make our nest now? Pip worried. Without the trees, we're lost. Suddenly a bird swooped down and called out, you must find the bamboo path on the other side of the mountains. It connects all the forests together and will lead you to safety. Following the bird's lead, they set off on their own path into the Himalayas. Together they trekked through mountains, looking high and low for the bamboo path. Will it be on the other side? Pip asked. As they climbed higher and higher, it became colder and colder. Spooky shadows crept up ahead. Ooh. Can't we make our new nest here? A very scared Pip begged her mother. We must find the bamboo path, her mother gently reminded Pip as they kept moving. After a while, they came to the top of a rocky ravine. Ooh, it's very steep, thought Pip. What could be down in those cracks and crevices? They clambered on down the ledge, looking high and low for the bamboo path. The earth was too dusty and dry and there were no fresh leaves for them to eat. Can't we stop here for a bit? Oh, Pip yawned. This could be a good spot for our new nest. Not yet, said her mother. We need to keep searching for the bamboo path. Soon they came to the edge of a city with bright lights and busy streets. Pip had never seen anything like it before. Pip didn't like it here. It was just chaotic in the city and they lost their way. They had travelled a long time now and they were feeling very tired. We'll have to make our nests here, sighed her mother. Somehow we'll survive on the city streets. They were about to give up when Pip spotted a firefly. And another! And another! On the outskirts of the city, plants were still growing. Her mother smiled. There was hope yet. The fireflies led them to the bamboo path. The new forest can't be far away now, thought Pip. They followed the winding passage until they found themselves among lush, tall trees. All kinds of animals had come here from all over the Himalayas in search of a safe place to make their home. Let's make our new nest here, said Pip. And with a big yawn and a stretch, wah, she curled up against her mother and closed her eyes. With the smallest seed of hope and a great deal of courage, the little red pandas were home. <laughs> oh, milkshakers, I do hope you enjoy today's story. And don't forget, there are loads more for you to listen to right here on the Milkshake YouTube channel. But for now, 
Ta-ta! Today's book was chosen by Pop-Up. Pop-Up projects are the creators of an exciting and unique children's literature festival for schools across the UK. Thanks for listening, Milkshakers. Make sure you like, subscribe and click on the bell so we can let you know when there's more videos for you to watch. And don't forget, we're on Channel 5 every morning from 6 o'clock, so make sure you come say hi.